Hey, this tutorial is all about uh, doing illustrations in Corel Draw X3. As you can look, uh, you look at this uh, this Corel Draw file that I've done. It's basically all in Corel Draw, and it's all vector image. And if I if I go to view here and go wireframe, you would see that everything is vector. Put it back to an hands view. Now, when I was creating this uh, this artwork or illustration, uh, I made it really organized so that it's easier for me to to draw. So what I did, I used the option of of object manager. So if you click on tools and you go to object manager, and you would see I've got lots of layers that I've used in uh, to make this drawing. Uh, since I'm doing it in layers, it's easier for me to isolate uh, one one part of the drawing. So, for example, I have I'm going to turn off my blinds here. Don't really see it, but let's go to the uh, let's zoom in here. Say, for example, the windows. I put all the windows in the same in the same uh, layer. So, in here, window pane. So if you take a look at that. I turn that off and then on. So that's the window pane. And then, so for example, here, vinyl lines. Turn that off. And you would see that I created that in, in a layer. Okay. I'll just put that back now. Now, that is the beauty of layers. And I, uh, I did this, uh, this illustration, and without that layers, it would be very difficult for me to to draw this one from scratch and if you take a look here if I turn off all turn off all the layers okay, you would see that it is really handy to to have it in layers anyway okay now let's go back to I'm going to talk about layers and also the very interesting part here that I've done is I was doing it, I was experimenting how to make it make this drawing a realistic one by using just transparency. So if we, if you go to the transparency layer here, if I turn that off, you would notice that let's see this one here. You'd notice that it's the drawing is flat right now, but if I put the transparency on now you would see the difference. This part is really obvious. Turn off the transparency. Read the transparency. I did it that way. Now I'll just explain how the transparency work. Okay. And uh, now what I'll do here, I'll just turn off the transparency so you could see how I did it. So for example, in here, I'll just zoom in here. I can turn off this. Uh, now actually what I will do is I'll make another layer, a new layer, and I'll put that layer to top. Okay. So I'll name this layer uh, so I'll rename that um, uh, I'll just put there transparency trans two, which is my transparency two uh, layer. Okay. Now I mean my layer right now, it's active because it's see I'm I'm in that layer and uh, I, what I can do, I can just close this one here. Okay. Now, the good thing in layer is that you can lock the layer. So, for example, here, uh, I'm in. Uh, let's go back here to to tools and go to object manager. See this one's here. Lock or unlock. If I click on all of those those uh, those layers, I'm just gonna lock all of those. So that when I'm working on a layer, even though I accidentally touch the object which is in one layer, I won't uh, mess around with it. So I'm just going to make the uh, the trans two, which is my new layer, uh, editable, and the other rest would be locked. Okay. Now here's what I've done here. So for example, here I want to make it realistic. I will go to view, and click on snap to objects. That way, when I'm creating a Bazir tool, say from here, it's gonna snap in in those nodes. 
So let's say I'm gonna make it right here, here, there. I'm just gonna fix this a little bit. Okay. Now what I did there is I'm gonna put black on it, right? And then I'm going to remove I have to remove the outline. No outline. Then what I did there is I'm going to go to my transparency tool, interactive transparency tool, and I just click and drag it to the left. I won't really overdo it so that I would still see the color of and it's more realistic if I really want. So, there. See now you can see the depth right now. If I turn that off, you'll see the difference. Right? Now say for example I'm working on this one because for now, I'll just close this one now. See that one should have a little bit of shadow in here. So what I'm doing, since it's snapping to all the objects, so it's easier for me to draw uh, the box, which I'm going to put uh, transparency. So everything will be black. This one doesn't matter if it's, if it's not straight, because I'm not going to remember always to remove the outline. Okay, and then click and go to your transparency tool, and click and drag now. There. It's amazing how the transparency would make it really realistic. There. Now if I go F4, you would see this part now is more realistic than this one. And if I go to my object uh, manager, and if I turn off the layer that I just did, see? So, so yeah, so that's the combination of uh, using layers and using the... Uh, the transparency. So I'm just turn it off and I'll put back my transparency layer. And uh, there you go. Then, as you can see here, you can see depth in here. So those are all done in Corel. See, even though here you can adjust the transparency, for example, here you want more depth in here, so you make the transparency darker in here. Very powerful tool. It makes an illustrator illustrate illustration in Corel really realistic. That's it.